Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom WordPress dashboard using a free plugin. Now, let's just face it. This is the default WordPress plugin. And as you can see, it's pretty ugly. And in most cases, these little widgets are not very useful. And on top of that, there's no way to customize this dashboard without custom coding or using a plugin. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom dashboard like this using Elementor Pro. Note, you do not need Elementor Pro to pull off this dashboard. But in this case right here, I do have a contact form widget and that is an Elementor Pro uh, feature. So if you don't need uh, contact forms or anything like that, you can pull this off using the free version of Elementor. Pulling this off is actually pretty simple. We just need to do two different things. We need to create a Elementor page template, which this is what the dashboard is. It's just an Elementor page. And then we're gonna use this plugin right here called White Label CMS. And within here, they give you the options to select a page template in Elementor to display as a dashboard. The first step is I'm gonna show you how I created this page template. Let's just jump right into it. To create the page template, you just need to go into templates right here. You can click on save templates. And I already created one down here. So what you would do is you click add new, select page, and then give it a name. So I already have this one right here called WordPress dashboards. I'm gonna open up this one so I can show you how I was able to create it. So as you can see, this is pretty simple, just two different sections. I have this top section with two columns and then this one down here with two columns as well. The first step I recommend is going down to your settings right here, click that and make sure that the page layout is to Elementor Canvas. This is gonna force the template to make this full screen and not have any additional uh, headers or footers or anything like that. So just make sure that that's on by default. Then you just create the dashboard the way you'd like it. So you can see right here, whenever we create our client websites, we like to have a little welcome message here, quick little links on how to add a new page, a new blog, visit the website. Um, and then this is really uh, unique to what we do. We create custom training videos. And so we upload them to our Vimeo account. So in here we add our Vimeo link and a password. And then this is just some additional resources. So in this case, we create a lot of YouTube videos. So I just have a YouTube feed right here. So if the user wants to go ahead and see some of our latest videos, it shows up right here. And then I think this is probably one of the most important things is if the client or the customer, whatever your use case is, I would recommend having some sort of contact form here. So they could just submit the form within the WordPress dashboard and you know you get the email. So one of the most important things is when you create this page template, it's not gonna carry over the global colors and typography. You're gonna have to manually set that for each thing. So let me show you what I mean by that. So you can see right here, this welcome to dashboard is just a regular heading and we welcome to dashboard. But you wanna make sure that under text color and typography, you need to go ahead and set the values in here. Um, this is because this uh, plugin that we're using right here, this white label CMS plugin, isn't carrying in the Elementor global templates correctly. So it's just a few extra steps, but you need to make sure that everything is styled the way you want. So like in this case, white, and then I have the typography at 20. And same thing over here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you know every single thing has a custom color or typography or whatever it may be. And here's a really cool tip. If you wanna add dynamic uh, buttons, like add a new page or a new post, you can go ahead and you can see right here, the link is just WP admin slash edit question mark post type equals page. And so if you wanna have it where the user can go ahead and make edits. You can see this right here. If you just right click copy link address, you can see when you hover over that, it has this right here. This is the URL. So you can just copy that right there and then just put it in as a link. And so when the user clicks that, it's automatically gonna go to uh, this page right here. It will go to that page. So once you're done with that, you would just hit update. And now we're going to activate that through this plugin right here. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this plugin is installed and activated. Now we just need to click a few buttons in that plugin and it's automatically going to override this dashboard right here with the template we just created. So once you have that installed, you go under settings, click on white label CMS. And as you can see, this plugin does more than just the dashboard. You can change the branding, the login page, menus, and some other stuff. But in this tutorial, we're just gonna cover dashboard. So you just click on dashboard and you just need to click a few buttons. What I recommend is click right here, hide all dashboard panels. That's gonna eliminate all of these panels right here. And then you see right here where it says, add your own welcome panel. You can just click that and you select Elementor 
and then you just need to go down here and find the template you just created. So in this case, I called it WordPress dashboard. And that's it. You just go ahead, hit save, and let's go up into dashboard and make sure that everything's working correctly. And there you go, there's your template right here. And if you scroll down, you're gonna notice that there's still a few uh, legacy boxes that that plugin it did not deactivate. So we need, just need to add just a little bit of CSS to get rid of these. So if you go back into white label CMS, click on settings, right here where it says custom CSS for admin, just add this right here. So these are WordPress widgets that we can just go ahead and display none. Hit save. Now let's go back into the dashboard and you can see right here, it, it hit all of that information below. And there you go. This is now showing that template that you added earlier. So if you ever need to go ahead and make any edits, you would just go back into your templates, find your dashboard, go ahead, you can make edits here. So let me show you real quick. It will update automatically. So I'm gonna show you if you make a change here, it'll automatically update on the dashboard. So let's go ahead under visit website. Let's do visit your website, hit update. And that's it. Now you can go back into your dashboard, make sure you hit refresh and you can see that button change to visit your website. And that's it for this video. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.